Mr. Burgundy, members of the board, we do have several board policies up for discussion this evening. And at this time, I'll turn it over to Ms. Myers. Good evening. So I have four policies to review with you tonight. The first one is policy GBQ, criminal records check. I feel like I bring this very often with updates almost every year. Um, House Bill 110 um, came out with a lot of new um, things for us to update our policies with, so you're going to see uh, that reflected in a lot of these updates. So House Bill uh, 110 is that we need to um, add the wording to this policy of notifying applicants for employment and prospect prospective volunteers that we may require additional background checks um, at the district. So that is just a one liner there at the bottom. Um, and then a strike out of some redundant language that's already included in the policy. Policy GCD, professional staff training. This is again House Bill 110. The statute requires that districts consult what is called the educator profile on the Ohio Department of Education website. Um, we need to consult that database prior to making any hiring decisions. So we already currently have our processes and steps. So we take background checks and everything. And then this is one final step before making that final hiring decision is consulting this database, doing a search, and confirming that we did, in fact, do that search. And it will go um, as part of the process. So that is uh, the major update for that. Um, also included um, is the employment of retired administrators and rehiring of retirees. This has always been part of the Ohio School Board Association policy. It hasn't been included in Fairfield City's policy. But we've been practicing this the past couple years, so I felt it was appropriate that we do get this language added in so that we're able to consult with it when we do make these decisions and um, understand the steps that we do need to take. Policy GDC, GDCA, and GDD. This is support staff recruiting, posting of vacancies, and hiring. Um, again, House Bill 10, and this policy is specific to support staff. Um, there's a big, it looks like there's a lot of changes on this one. It was very outdated. As you can say, see, it was adopted in 95. Um, we did revise it a few years ago, um, but it had major changes with OSBA. So we updated it to what OSBA had, and then um, this also added the background check information just as the professional staff. And the retiring uh, or rehiring of retirees as well. So that's the same exact language that was put in the previous um, professional staff hiring. My last policy is IICC, school volunteers. Um, this one was last revised in 2007, so definitely needed. Um, updated language per OSBA. And the main item here that we have added is that all volunteers shall be registered with district office and appropriate building in accordance with state law that we were can require those additional background checks as mentioned in the first policy for background checks. So those are all my policies. Does the board have any questions for me? Any questions for Ms. Myers? So would you say most of these are related to the fact that they've, they've changed the rules slightly in regards to who would be allowed to be substitute teachers, having lessened the educational requirements? Mm -hmm. but want to make sure we're maintaining background and criminal requirements mm -hmm. and making sure we're doing our due diligence for yes. all those checks good any other questions thank you so much right. thank you very much okay hey, miss Aug has the next okay. okay thank you mr. birding uh, members of the board I have three policies for your consideration tonight uh, like the other policies presented by Mrs. Myers, the three policies I have for you have been affected by recent legislation as well. So House Bill 110 changed the dates for the administration of the reading diagnostic assessment for students in kindergarten. The date was changed from November 1st to the 20th day of instruction for kindergarten students. Dates were not changed for students in grades one through five. This change affected both policy IGBE, which is Remedial Instruction Intervention Services, and policy IGBEA, Reading Skills Assessments and Intervention 
related to the third grade reading guarantee. As a more permanent fix, OSBA proposed taking out the specific dates and simply stating that these tests will be administered in accordance with all statutory timelines. So we applied this language to both policies to bring those up to date. Next uh, is policy IKF, graduation requirements. House bills 110 and 82 made some changes to the graduation requirements related to transfer students who have partially or fully earned local diploma seals at their previous schools. So any student who transfers to Fairfield should receive partial or full credit um, according to the new guidelines. So um, we added that language and we also removed several um, pieces of outdated language in policy IKF. And that concludes the items I have for discussion this evening. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Ong? All right, wonderful. Thank you. And I'm assuming you're looking to have these approved at the next board meeting. Okay. Yes. Great.